Hi there, this is Unmesh from the PIA and today I'm going to show you how you can use Photoshop to become a secret agent or a detective. Actually, we are going to take an image and add a special code to it so that everybody that opens the image only sees a solid black or a solid white color, nothing else. But only the person who has the code and knows how to apply it can reveal what is in the image. How cool will that be? So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are back in the intelligent world of Photoshop and this is the only photo of the criminal that we have and that is Agent 47. I've been playing Hitman 2 a lot lately. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, so let's say this is the photo that we want to encrypt and send it to the police department or anybody who want to send it just for fun. All right. So all you got to do is to go to image, mode, and then indexed color. Now keep in mind, there is going to be a minimal loss when you convert the mode to indexed color, but that's enough to recognize a face. All right, let's click on indexed color. Now inside of indexed color, you can choose your own palette. What it does is that it allows you to choose the colors of the image and the maximum number of colors is 256. That's why there is a loss of quality. If you zoom in, it won't have all the colors. It's just 256 colors. There are a lot of palettes to choose from. So right now we have system Mac OS. Let's zoom out. This is a color palette. System Windows, a lot of them. You can also create your own color palette by clicking on custom and then choose your own colors. So right here for the first one, we can choose red and all the 256 you can customize accordingly and then hit OK. And there are a lot of other presets here as well, like grayscale, spectrum, or let's go ahead and choose grayscale here, hit OK. So that is another palette. Let's not get that advanced. We're gonna get to that later. But for now, let's choose a simple one. The first one, system Mac OS. Just keep in mind that you had chosen system Mac OS. 256 is the maximum number of colors you can have. You can choose to dither. This will soften it up a little bit. Let's go for diffusion and hit OK. Now we have this image. Now all you got to do is this. Change the color table. Let's go to image, mode, and then it's already indexed color. Right here you see color table. Click on that one. Select the topmost color right there on the topmost left. Click and drag to the bottom right. And the first one we need to choose is white. And we, if we choose the last one as black, it's going to be a gradient like this. But we want to turn this to a solid color. So click and drag. You can turn this to a solid black or a solid white. So if you want to turn this to a solid white, choose the first one white and the second one white as well. And then hit OK. Now, just save the image. Just that. that that's all you got to do. So I'm just going to save as. A different name, all right? So save as secret agent folder agent 47 encrypted. Now let's change the file type from PST to PNG so that people suspect it less. Now let's save it. Large file size is fine, just hit OK. Now we have agent 47 encrypted.png. For your assurance, let me open that file again for you. So here we are on our file explorer and we have agent 47 encrypted.png all white. If you just open the image, it is just white. Nobody can tell. However, if you now open this inside of Photoshop, let me just drag it and drop it into Photoshop. And now if I tell you the code, if I tell you that it was system Mac OS, and if I tell you that it was all due to the index mode, all you gotta do is to go to image, mode and just change the color table and from custom to what was it system mac os choose that and boom the image is now revealed hit <laughs> okay now you want to go a little more advanced a little more advanced encryption with a file involved that would be cool wouldn't it be all right so this is how you do it First of all, let me open the original image first. So here we are back to the original image. Let's do the same again, but this time it'll all be custom and more secured. So let's go to image, mode and indexed color. And this time we're going to go a little custom. So let's choose the palette as custom. And this time you can 
take your time to define every individual colors. I'm just going to do it really, really fast. So I'm going to choose the first block right here, first couple of blocks. So next I'm going to choose these. The first color I'm going to choose is yellow. The last one I'm going to choose is blue. And from here to there, the first color I'm going to choose is let's go for green. And the last one, let's go for red or orange. Here, I'm choosing my own colors. You can just pick individual colors for individual blocks to make it more secure. All right. Now, for the last one, let's hit cancel for this one. Let's go for a random magenta and blue. All right. So these are the colors I have chosen. Now, before you apply them, let's save it. And this, my friend, is going to be the secret file, the key that's going to allow people to reveal the image. Without that, it's going to be a little difficult. So let's save this pattern. You can create as complex patterns as you want. Click on save. Now I'm going to save it in the same folder for the sake of convenience. And let's name this key. It's going to be an ACT file. All right. Just hit save and hit OK. So this is a custom color set. Now you can choose diffusion here. Amount 75 is fine. 256 colors. Hit OK. It might not look that good depending upon the colors you have chosen, but it's enough to recognize the image. Now let's hide it by going to image, mode, and then color table. And from the first one to the last one, we're going to choose white, hit OK, and white. OK, let's save it as a PNG. File, save as, Agent 47 encrypted, and this one is going to be more advanced. So I'm just going to name it ADV PNG. All right. Let's save it. It's OK. For your assurance, let's open the original file again. Let's go to our file explorer. I'm just going to close it. File explorer. There you go. Agent 47 encrypted advanced. If you open it, all we see is white. Now you just got to drag it and drop it into Photoshop. If you don't have the key file, it's going to be a little more difficult to kind of reveal what exactly there is. You might be able to do that, but the image quality won't be as good. Now let's go to image mode and then let's change the color table. Let's change it to black body. It's very difficult to say what there is, right? Only and only if you have the key, you'll be able to see what exactly is there. So all you got to do, you need to give the key to that person who you want to send the image. That person needs to load the key. Click on load. He needs to go to that folder, secret agent folder, key.act load. And only and only then you'll be able to properly reveal it. Hit OK. And there you go. And that, my friend, is how you become a secret agent in Photoshop. I honestly don't know how this is going to be applicable in your artistic endeavors. But anytime you want to join Piximperfect uh, Intelligence Agency, uh, our doors are open and you can always use this trick to get in. Anyway, I don't know if I'm making sense, but I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorial. I would like to take this moment to thank all these nice and amazing people for supporting this channel on Patreon and helping keep Pix Imperfect free for everybody forever. Thanks so much for all your support. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.